How to make French vinaigrette. This is a staple in your salad making. You can use it as a marinade. It's absolutely fantastic. We did this once before, I'll tell you when, and everybody asked me for the recipe, so here we go. I'm gonna show you how to make a my French vinaigrette. So welcome to the Amy Learns to Cook Kitchen. So years ago, we did a video called Mini Chopper Wars, and we tested a whole bunch of these mini choppers. In that video, I made a French vinaigrette. And ever since then, people have been asking me for the recipe because I didn't really like give out the recipe because we were just doing a review of the choppers. Um, now I have it on my website. Here's the recipe. You can go there and uh, print it out. And we're, I'm going to show you how to make it because... Uh, people still to this day are sending me messages, where's the French vinaigrette recipe, right? So we're going to do that today. So in your mini chopper, or you could use a regular food processor, you could use a blender, right? In your mini chopper, I'm doubling the recipe from what I have it on the website. I have the regular recipe on the website. I'm doubling it because we're going to be using it as a chicken marinade. So we have our mini chopper here. We're going to go ahead and put in two cloves of garlic, one clove for the standard recipe, and we're gonna go ahead and chop that up. Hmm. I have three ounces of shallots, and yes, I weigh them. You don't necessarily have to, but, um, oh, I got a little skin left on this one. But I like to. So I know I got it right. So we're gonna go ahead and put the lid on and we're gonna chop. Hmm. We have four ounces of vinegar, two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. I think that's like 30 milliliters. Milliliters? Two pinches of kosher salt. Two pinches, kosher salt. Mini chopper. So you really, the best thing to do is have a mini chopper that has a drizzler on it. If it doesn't, you'll have to add some, put the lid on, let it run, take it off, add some. But when you have a drizzler, you can drizzle it on in and it'll create the emulsion. So one of the thing difference between this kind of vinaigrette versus just a plain old vinegar and oil is vinegar and oil separates, right? We're using the Dijon mustard, it's an emulsifier. So it will um, give us a permanent emulsion and it won't separate like that. So we have 12 ounces of olive oil, six ounces um, if you're doing half of us. And we're just gonna let it drizzle. One key for making your emulsion is allowing it to drizzle. You can buy a uh, dressing in a bottle, but like this, you know what you're getting, right? You're getting fresh, real ingredients. Hmm, I think we have a dressing. It's beautiful, it's absolutely beautiful. Look at that, 
That is one beautiful dressing. <laughs> so I'm going to put it in some mason jars. Okay, we're going to go ahead and pour it in our mason jar here. Whoa! Not a great pour spout, KitchenAid. <laughs> oh, KitchenAid. extra now that I made a little bit of a mess <laughs> mm. absolutely beautiful look at that a beautiful French vinaigrette so let's go ahead and take a quick taste I'm gonna be using some of this on a marinade for some chicken that's our dressing It's so good. That little tang of the vinegar. Um, mm, it's fantastic. Perfect, perfect, perfect French vinaigrette. I hope you enjoy the recipe.